we're here, Lionheart and Exotech all combined together. We're checking out their new pistol. These guys make the screws for the blades. And we're very, very excited about this pistol. So he's gonna tell us about why is this gun at Blade Show? Because it's the best. Oh, there you go. Here, uh, we're Lionheart Industries. We do a high-end, all-metal, hammer-fire defense pistol. So what's different with us is, I would tell you we're more of like a triple action pistol instead of a single That's double. That's what I'm Whoa. excited about. What the hell is triple action? So you have single, single. action, double action, we call it double action plus. Hammer's back, push it forward. So, so you don't need a decocker. Is, there's basically two walls, right? So as soon as you break the first wall, you're reset back in single action. Whoa, okay. That's the Continue pulling the trigger, it goes off. So basically you're staging yourself. Your first shot is going to be the same to the last shot. May I? Please. Okay. All right. So first and foremost, uh, is the, the frame is aluminum. 7075 aluminum. Okay. That's the so good stuff. So ambidextrous safety. Ambidextrous. And as opposed to a 1911, the rear rises as opposed to the front. Let's see. No so need for here's, here's why I've, I've not seen this. Um, for those of you guys who choose a safety, it's placed like a 1911. My problem with, with a lot of safeties is because of my high grip, when I grab a gun, I can't disengage a safety like on a, like an M M17, M18. Yes, it's in, We've all been discussing in shit. it. It's an okay gun. The problem is the safety's in the wrong place for hands. Human so hands. This is anyway. cool. That's cool. Okay. So double action. All right. Double action. That's smooth. That kind of feels CZ-like in terms of that smoothness. There's a really flat trigger face, meaning it's a little curved here, but the actual face is flat. That feels nice. What that's kind of feeling like it's gonna let you do is actually assist in pulling it straight back. Correct. All right, All right let's try the you single action. I see a little bit of motion there on the single action. That's interesting. Until you hit the wall. That breaks pretty smooth. There's actually quite a bit of pre-travel. Uh, those of you guys, if you know me, I, I, think, I think that that slack is supremely important in terms of safety. Yes. Okay, and now we're gonna go into the third action. Double action plus. Whoa. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's freaking rad. You know what? So you get the same I'm, weight all the way through. I'm liking one. this. That, look at this. That is cool as shit. So that's your sight adjustment tool. It'll also be the same size suit uh, as our grip screws. So it's got a Torx. So there's the Torx on this end and then the flathead for doing your elevation adjustments. The flathead goes in first and you just follow the tracks. Oops, no oh, I did it. There you go, yeah, and now no it's way. locked in. And it won't come out because you have to push the detent. Yeah, so if you have, that is, I use my knife, but. I got those, I make them. <laughs> Man, that's brilliant, dude. There's not a lot of innovation and that's, that's cool. So. I gotta tell you, this feels nice. I like the stippling. I like that you have a, an added safety if you need it, the manual safety. Um, and check this out, there's a built-in gas pedal. I don't feel like that's a necessary thing on a gun, but having one built in, uh, it's gonna make you shoot flatter, it will. Yeah, so um, what's nice about it is it's all a one piece into our grip system. It's actually dovetailed into our frame. Really? Yep. And it's made oh, out yeah. of G10. Oh, I see it. It's I see not it. even polymer. It's G10. Oh, you couldn't we even. We do the CNC machining in-house in Winder, Georgia. That's awesome. That is cool. So you couldn't tell because it's so clean. Correct. Now, what is the footprint that you have here for optics? So it's a Trichicon RMR CC as well as a Shield RMSC. So it's actually a two-piece plate system. So with, a, uh, with the, the shield style footprint, 
we actually have a shim. But if you want to go with a Truchcon RMRCC, you'll take that shim out. It's actually going to butt up right to the uh, the rear of the site. Really? Okay. Okay. That's that's neat. That is so cool. I'm I'm kind of digging this. How long is this barrel? What's that? Three inch? Three point seven. Three point seven. Okay. That's interesting. So here's another thing I noticed. The placement. Actually, I'm lying because you shit. told me this. That cut is pretty deep. So, and these are not suppressor height sights. And I can definitely co-witness with normal sights and an optic. I like that. That's yeah. awesome. So you don't buy a gun, slap an optic on it, and then go, oh, I gotta order some silly <laughs> suppressor height sights for it. That's cool. Check this out. Let me show you one more time, right? Double action. Hammer and trigger at the same time. Single action. And here's the cool new mechanism. Single action, push it forward, and you get this cool two-stage feel. One, and that's super light. That's gotta be like a half pound, and maybe like a four pound-ish, five? That's awesome.